All right, everybody, welcome back to the show. So excited for this next segment. I got three categories. It is fantasy feud time. For you guys to buzz in, you just need to say your name. That's going to be, you know, to open up each category. If you get the number one answer on the board, you can decide to either pass or play. You will get three strikes if you are playing. And once you get to three strikes, the other person will have a chance to steal. So that's how it works. All right, uh, the first category... And again, if you want to buzz in, say your name. Most 20 plus... Oh, sorry. The top eight answers are on the board. Oh, wow. Yeah, top eight. Pass. Most, <laughs> but listen, no, you, you don't have to... You don't have to get all eight. Right. But that's the thing. All right? You just have to get the easy ones so the person who's trying to steal can't. Most 20-plus yard carries in 2022. Jamie. Jamie. Derek Henry. That is the number two answer. Heath, you have a chance. It's actually tied for number two to get the number one answer. Heath? Uh, Tony Pollard. Uh, no, he's tied for fifth. Okay. One of the eighth. So, Jamie, you have control. Would you like to pass or play? I will pass. Thank you. Oh, all right. Okay, Heath, what do you got here? Most 20 um, plus yard carries. Saquon Barkley. Yeah, that is correct. He's tied with Tony Pollard. He had nine. Okay, so you have uh, five more on the board. Okay, um, Christian McCaffrey. Very good. He is also tied. I'm going to give you five seconds for each guess. Ken Walker. Very good. He is tied for second with ten. Travis Etienne. <laughs> Three players left on the board. Most 20-plus yard carries in 2022. Um, you know, let's just shoot one out of, out of left field. Justin Fields. Hey, very good. He was tied for second with 10 carries of 20-plus yards. Nobody's gotten the number one answer yet. Heath only has one strike. Two players left to guess. Most 20-yard carries in 2022. I mean, he had so many. I guess I'll say Josh Jacobs. Did not make the cut. Nick Chubb. That is correct. That is the number one answer. That means there's one player left who had, who was tied for with the fifth most carries of 20 plus yards. And how many was that? How many did he have? Nine. I I mean, it'd feel dumb if I didn't say this name, so I'll say Austin Eckler. All right, Jamie has a chance to steal. One answer left on the board. Who is it? Um, Five. Lamar Jackson. <laughs> Survey says Miles Sanders. Miles. Oh, Sanders. yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. So Heath gets the first category of most 20 plus yard carries in 2022. The next category. Wait, how many points did I get for that? Don't I get a number of points for how many carries they had? I mean, no, <laughs> you would, in theory, you would get points based on how many votes they got, oh, okay. but you know. So uh, how do you keep score in this game? You're up one, nothing. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The next category is a very fun one. Uh, Top five answers are on the board. I would recommend if you guys want to take a second, just get the list of teams up. Just get, okay. Get the because this is a dumb one. <laughs> this is what he's telling us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but I know it helps. Don't cheat. Don't look at any stats or anything like that. But right. get the list of teams up. Y'all good there? You guys ready? Yeah. Yep. I got standings right. up. The highest scoring top five answers are on the board. Highest scoring fantasy wide receivers in 2022 who have one syllable last names. Heath. Heath. Stefan Diggs. Number two answer, Stefan Diggs. Jamie, you have a chance to get number one. Um, points per game or total points? Total points. Four. Three. Lamb. Two. Uh, he's number four. All right. Pass or play, Heath? Um, I'll pass. Jeez. <laughs> oh, All right, Jamie. Three answers left. Highest scoring fantasy wide receivers in 2022 who have a one syllable last name. Hill. Tyreek Hill is number one answer in this group, yes. Chase? He was sixth. Um, Brown? Yes. Which one? AJ? Yes. Uh, Smith? 
<laughs> Who? Which one? Devontae? Yes, JV wins. He, you totally should have played. You totally yeah, played. it's yeah. Highest scoring fantasy good wide receivers with one syllable last names: Tyreek Hill, Stephon Diggs, AJ Brown, CD Lamb, Devontae Smith. I did have a moment where I was like, "Wait, Amonra St. Brown's last name is St. Brown, right?" But yeah. Uh, all right, we are tied one-one because otherwise he would have been on the list. One-one. All right, this is an advanced stat category here. Okay. Uh, the top five answers are on the board. Highest off-target percentage on passes of 15 or more air yards. These are quarterbacks or receivers, their targets were off target. Yeah, that's a good question. Quarterbacks with the highest off-target percentage on passes of 15 or more air yards. How many attempts did they have to have? They're all they're all guys who started at least like six to eight games or something. Um, Heath. Heath. Justin Fields. Yes, he had the fifth worst. Uh, oh, Jamie, you have a chance to guess uh, higher than that. Um, Deshaun Watson. All right, he's pass or play. Highest percentage, highest off-target percentage on passes of 15 or more air yards. What the heck? I'll play. Good, good for you. Good for you. All right, what do we got? Uh, Baker Mayfield. Yes, Baker Mayfield. He is one of the quarterbacks who's been consistently terrible uh, in terms of off-target throws, 15 or more air yards. He was fourth, by the way. Uh, Kenny Pickett, Carson Wentz, really, man, I stink. I don't know if he qualified, but I think, he, he probably <laughs> yeah, did. that's, that's yeah. true. He probably, um, no, he probably did. Um, man, I don't know which Jets quarterback would qualify. Um, let's go with Zach Wilson. Oh, wow. Jamie, go, the Jamie. top three answers are still on the board. You need just one of them. Highest off-target percentage on passes of 15 or more air yards. I know he just gets criticized for this a lot. I don't know if he has the most, though, but Jimmy Garoppolo. All right, Heath, you win. Yeah, that was Although a solid I performance. I just, actually, I'm going to give Jamie one more chance to win. What, what the, no, what do you mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. All right, so who are the three worst in terms of off-target percentage on passes of 15 or more air yards? Number one. Marcus Mariota. Yeah. Uh, that hurt Kyle Pitts badly. Lamar Jackson, number two. And Matthew Stafford, number three. And a little bit fantasy relevant here because two of these guys have been in the bottom five three of the past four years. And that's Lamar Jackson and Baker Mayfield. Uh, and then Justin Fields was third worst in 2021 and fifth worst in 2022. So, Jamie, do you, is this anything that we need to be worried about for DJ Moore, for Mike Evans, potentially? I'm not sure if it matters for the Lamar Jackson group, maybe Bateman. But um, what do you think? These guys have been for at least two years, Fields for two years, and Jackson for all but one year of his career, Mayfield for three of the last four years. Very inaccurate throwing the ball downfield. I mean, obviously it's a flaw, but I think, you know, in, in the case for Fields, He's been throwing to junk, you know, for two years. And so DJ Moore is, is clearly an upgrade. At least that would be the hope, yep. you know. So I would give him somewhat of the benefit of the doubt that he's going to have a better pass catcher. Uh, for Baker, you know, again, this is the best receiving core he's ever had. You know, certainly the best duo. I don't, I don't think you can compare as good as, you know, maybe at the time Landry and Beckham were. The, these two are better. In Evans and Godwin, so hopefully again they help him out a little bit. But yeah, I mean it's 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 certainly something that's a knock against those receivers because the quarterback play is not necessarily as productive as you would like to see from some of the other players, other quarterbacks who throw the ball downfield with more success. And and I wonder, Adam, you mentioned that, or Jamie mentioned that what what Justin Fields was throwing to, and we know what Lamar Jackson was throwing to. I wonder if there's any like if the guys who are often high on that list don't have good wide receivers. And I know it, yeah. it in theory, whether it's on or off target should be independent of the guy you're throwing to. Sure. But I don't know that that's totally true either. Yeah, I mean, I think you're right. I think, look, if you guys, if you have guys who get open downfield, it's probably easier to throw an on target pass and whether rather than if you're throwing a jump ball to somebody who's not open, you know, you don't want to get intercepted. So it's a good point. Um, I wonder, like, for example, and, and I know it's hard to say because the sample size is probably small, but like. What's Geno Smith's career numbers versus what it was last year? Right. 
Or what was what was Patrick Mahomes on target percentage on deep throws before last year and last year? Well, Gino was the most accurate or the the, the least inaccurate. Gino had the best off target. 14.6% off target rate was number one. Uh, Mahomes was number six. If I look at Gino throughout his career, um, it's probably going to be, I mean, there just have, weren't that many attempts. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's like, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to say. And, and we don't see quarterbacks necessarily change teams a lot, you know, that it has the ability to, to show this. I'm trying to think of another example of somebody that, that may fall into this category. Well, I looked at Tua. I looked at Tua and he was kind of like uh, good, mm, below average, really good in three seasons, you know, but he was obviously got, got Tyree kill and that you would think that would expect that would uh, help his downfield throws. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it, it's like for certainly for fields, I could see it improving big time for Mayfield. I think, it's been long enough of him being really bad at that. I feel like that's another strike against Evans. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. all we keep. Just keep poo-pooing Evans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Let's uh, take one more break. Come back. Read a few emails here on Fantasy Football today. Oh, it's over? It's over. Yeah, you win. You're the winner. Fantastic. <laughs> 